Here's how you can use Photoshop to get a color splash effect. If I wanted the uh, flower that's in the front to be the only item that has color, what I want to do is select it. You can use your favorite selection tool. We've practiced with the magnetic lasso tool. We've used the selection brush. There's also one that's kind of fun to try. It's called the quick selection tool. So I'll show you that while showing you the color splash. But you could use any one of your tools. The quick selection picks up pixels that are nearby. For what remains of this flower, I'm going to use the selection brush, which is in the same spot. I want to make sure that my brush tip isn't too big, and I can make that smaller by using the bracket keys on my keyboard. The left bracket will make it smaller and I'm going to drag my mouse down and I just made a mistake so I'm going to hold my option key and push that in and now I have the poppy selected but I want the background to turn black and white so select inverse now I have the background go to enhance let's convert to black and white you can play with the different black and white effects here as well as adjust the intensity. I'm going to use the default and deselect my tool by pressing Command D and I'm done. Save it as a JPEG in your folder.